And now for the coolant. On the left, on the right hand side of the car, just in front of the right wheel, we have the petcock, which you can reach right up under here and you just turn it counterclockwise. And we'll get that fluid draining. Okay, we got that coolant all drained out. It's time to put the new stuff back in. I also pulled the overflow, which sits down in here, in front of the right wheel. Pulled it out and cleaned inside with my pressure washer. And I just, just there was gunky buildup along the sides. So I just put the pressure washer in there and washed it all around. So it's nice and clean inside now. Put that back in here, and then the overflow hose just clamps on down there. And the last one goes through the front here. Okay, we'll fill her back up with coolant. I've read on the internet that you should just use conventional green coolant in these cars. So that's what I'll do. Mix it about 60-40 with distilled water. So we'll put the antifreeze in first, then we'll do distilled water. Okay, now the distilled water. Now, this is also a four liter jug. I'm gonna leave about a liter in this jug. So we'll put three liters in, and that'll be four liters antifreeze plus three liters of water. So seven liters total. Four divided by seven is about 57%, which should be just about perfect for, uh, for this car. 57% mix. Talking is the worst part. And I'll do this procedure twice because there's about 14 liters that comes out of these when you do a full change. So I'll do eight liters of antifreeze and about six liters of water total. All right, and finally we'll add about, we'll fill that tank about half full, just so as the air bubbles come out, uh, the engine can draw in when it cools down any required coolant out of this overflow here. Ooh, oh, this one's a bit tougher to get to. I got a nice one liter bottle here. Now, it doesn't appear to be taking any more fluid. A few little bubbles there. So we're gonna put the cap on, just loosely. Now I'll go start it up and we'll see if we get air bubbles coming out of there.
Okay, there are air bubbles. That's good. That, to me, indicates that the water pump is pumping. If you don't see air bubbles, apparently that can mean there's an air lock. In which case, you have to do some things to get the air out of the engine. Like, one guy, a uh, uh, Corvette expert, says that you should jack up the right side of the car to get the air bubble to come out through here, and that'll help the bubbles come. But I think we got lucky here, and we got bubbles coming. And these coolant um, fittings here are are uh, warm. That's good. All right, finally what we'll do, tap this up. The overflow is a little over half full, so as we shut this off now, that motor will draw that extra coolant that it needs um, as it cools um, into, the, into the tank, and we'll then make sure we keep our overflow topped up. But that's the coolant done.